Let's play Discworld. And... It's embarrassing. I don't know why I take you out in public. No, I don't either. Now, let's go and see the Arch-Chancellor. Ah, if it isn't young Breakwind. Rincewind, sir. Rincewind, quite. Come in. We need to talk. That is, I need to talk. And you listen. Sounds fair. No doubt you've been hearing all sorts of rumours about this dragon that supposedly is terrorising the town. Uh, uh, d uh, dragon? As in the uh, classic fire-breathing, city-toasting... Shut up! Yes, pretty much. Scaly, vain, like shiny objects, that species of kidney. And what we need to do is to ensure that the Unseen University is properly represented in the attempt to dispose of it. If some yokel simply slays the wretched thing without our help, the people will begin to ask just what wizards are for. Actually, sir, what are wizards for? Wizards are firmly behind big dinners. And if you want to keep on eating yours, you'll go and see about this dragon. Surely, sir, dragons don't logically exist. Shut up! Dragons exist if you believe in them. And the average man in the street does believe in them. Or at least believes in them enough to give us big rewards if they think we've gotten rid of the thing. Do you follow me? Not really. Shut up! Not interested in excuses. Too much sloppy thinking around here. Run down to the library and fetch me a copy of Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs. Once we've read that, we'll know how to track the scaly blighter down. Okay. You're still here, standing around like something unhygienic. Do it now! Hmm. I thought Rick Cully came later in the books, but the unhygienic comment kind of implies it's him. Hmm. Oh well, not a problem. I'll, I should have right-clicked him, actually. He might have told me. Uh, okay, into the library. Now, oh, there's a few interesting things in the library. Hmm. Sex magic. The book of the 32 unspeakable acts, with a compendium containing several speakable ones, and six more that everyone involved would rather forget about. No wonder it's on ice. <laughs> Ah, let's not press this curiosity thing too far then, shall we? Let's move down to here. Alright, maybe it's down here then. I'm trying to see what this is. And it is a book. Ye illustrious tome of levitation. Oh yes, that's, that's levitating alright. And let's go and right click the librarian. Oh, and his desk, I guess. Actually, on close examination, this would seem to be some sort of subtropical arboreal ape. A magical accident in the library turned the librarian into an orangutan. He has since resisted all efforts to turn him back, much preferring the handy long arms, the prehensile toes, and the right to scratch himself in public. And who wouldn't? Yes, he is the librarian, and we're Must going to come see in a handy. fair amount of him. Stacked with all the latest monkey accessories. That will happen a Did lot. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? It will really happen a lot. He's an orangutan, not a monkey. Mm. Hello? Ooh, egat. You're not in charge here, are you? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I see. Well, that explains the filing system. Look, I don't know if you're quite the person that I want to see... Ooh, yeah, well, it, it's hard to explain, really. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm hmm Yeah, um... Ook, eek, ooh, ooh, ook. Yeah! Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, this is wonderful. I never knew I could speak monkey. I wonder how many times I can get him to hit him over the, the head this cop? video. There's going to be quite a few Five. times. Do you mind if I monkey about in the library for a while? Did you get the number of that donkey cot? May I take a book from the library, please? Woo! Woo! Excuse me? Woo! 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 I see. Um, I need something in order to take out a book. Woo! Woo! Toothpaste? Fingers? Gloves? Something in your hand? Woo! A dentist? Halitosis? You want... You want some mouthwash? That's it. 
You want some mouthwash? I'm sorry, but I'm already spoken for. Oh! A library card! <laughs> Why didn't you say so in the first place? So, what happens we need if I just barge in without card. giving you a library card? Yes. Now look, unfortunately, I don't have one ape. Ooh! Uh, ape on upon my person. Yes, upon my person. Phew. I didn't say monkey. <laughs> Did you get the number oh of God, that donkey Oh God, that's not cot? going to get old very fast. Right. Hey! Whose monkey is this? You'd think he'd have learned. <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Right. Excuse me, my dear sir. Could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Layers? <laughs> I see. <laughs> yes. Me. Ah, uh, yes. I suppose so. <laughs> mhm. Mm Quite. Look. Is there someone else here that I can speak to? <laughs> well, you know, someone who isn't a monkey. Did you get the number I'm about of that to lose donkey cock? track, I think. No, I'll come back and get a book later. Whoop! Whoop, whoop! Yes, I've given up. No, not, not gibbon, monkey. Ape! Oh, oh, damn! Did you get the number of that donkey cock? For the last time, no. This seems like a good well, cue to cease this whole silly conversation. It won't be the last time. Right. Now we have a banana here. I think this will work as a library card. Certainly, he'll be happy enough with it. Excuse me, my dear sir. Could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Layers? <laughs> and thus, we have the book. Right, let's get back to the Arch-Chancellor. Do... Now, just one or two quick things. Let's go. Where'd you put all that stuff? Come on, luggage. We haven't got all day. <laughs> luggage is quite cool, though. And is technically a homicidal maniac. He likes crisps and people. And does laundry. Right, where are you? There you are. Book. Arch Chancellor, who I should really right click before I do this because. Is he Red Cully? As far as leaders go, the only reason I'd follow him into battle is out of curiosity. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, now, with a desk like that, a man can really defer some serious questions. Guesses? Ooh, sparklies! Shells? Hmm. Golden thingamies. It must be good to be the Arch Chancellor. I'd imagine so. Right, let's give him the book then. Excellent. Good lad, Breakwind. Rincewind, sir. Ah, we now have the formula to construct Reclamento's never failing Dragon's Lair revealer. With the device in our hands, we'll be able to track the creature and Trap it like a wildebeest. You mean like a rat, sir? Really? Well, could be. Well, that'd be easier, <laughs> certainly. You've got a good, firm grasp of facts. I like that in a wizard. Go forth and fetch the elements we need to construct this device. I'll see that your performance is brought to the attention of the university board when we review your grant next year. Uh, we may only halve it, for example. That's <laughs> nice. Sir, have I ever told you of my ambition to be a yak? It can be arranged, Rincewind. Just ask the librarian. Now, get a move on. We need a staff of tumultuous turbatagy, a spiral of never failing induction, a miniature creature of excitable chitters, and a container made of the strongest ferrous metal. Oh, is that all? Uh, well, uh, a sample of breath from the subject in question is necessary. Dragon's breath? Yes. Any problems with that? No? Good. Right, there's a logic failure well, there, I think. Well, don't just stand there. Off you go! Right, let's assume, as he says, the dragon doesn't exist. We need a dragon's breath. 
It's also assumed that we're doing this to find the dragon. Okay. Well, that's like we do know where it is, sort of. It's on top of a tower. Okay, let's go to the dining room next, because I think one of the items is actually here. Ah, first off though, let's examine the carcass. Ah, a swamp dragon, if my eyes don't deceive me. I thought these things were filled with explosive gas. <laughs> Cheap laugh. Oh, right. But it's worth it. Now, ooh, there's stuff there. It's the Dean, the Bursa, and the Lecture of Recent Runes. The Faculty. Let's talk to the... No, no, actually. One well, of these. excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. I think if we talk to the lecturer, it's the, um, the full list, yep. Good day, sirs! Is it? Huh, <laughs> so you say. What with the bottom falling out of the tapioca market? He's off again. Pass the dried frog pills. Laugh away, you old boy valve. It's all this dragon business. That's what's doing it. Snatching tapioca out of the mouths of the deserving elderly. Dragons? Dragons in the town? A likely story. <laughs> Swamp dragons, he means? No, a real dragon. Not one of those little marsh tiddlers. Poppycock, there's no such thing. Dragons only exist if you believe in them. I don't believe in them, Tony they Robinson? don't believe in me. So we're both happy. I think it is. I imagine Baldrick then, and that's just... Yes, it works. That's him. Because there's no reason why not, so now we did the audiobooks. Another busy day in the faculty, gentlemen? We are cogitating. I hope I heard that right, said in a knowing tone of voice, nudge nudge. What cogitating, my lad, is that process by which the wise make space inside their minds for more ideas. You make more space for ideas by sitting on your backside sipping a cup of milky tea. Hit him. Hit him. My boy, ideas are normally sold by volume, not by weight. It's best to let them settle so you can find more room in the top. We have wisdom and you do not. For instance, this is the action of a... Oh dear. Clever, clever, clever man! Oh, boy, it crashed. <sighs> and yes, this is very much the action of a clever man. Or rather, a stupid man. What's so clever about writing down the word monkey? <sighs> it gets worse. Believe me, it gets worse. Wisdom, my lad, is never cheap. Well, I didn't know you were selling it by the pound. <laughs> yep, well done. Excuse me, where might I go to find the patrician? Well... Don't be an idiot, boy. Just look for the palace. Is he approachable? Can you actually speak to him? Oh, yes. But he's a mean man with a word. Be careful if he uses sarcasm on you. And for heaven's sake, run for it if he resorts to... Ooh, irony. That's this place always have to be this way. What way? Well, this way. It's chaos. It's... it's undisciplined. It's as if I'm thrashing about in a sea of questions, like... Like I'm screaming out against soul-destroying winds. Isn't that a mixed metaphor? I mean, there are times when I dream about just shaking this place by the neck until it starts talking sense. I have one like that too. What, really? Oh yes. In one magic moment I stride like an intellectual giant across the rooftops of the world, slicing through the Gordian wass's name of fuzzy thinking for all time. And then I have this other terrific dream, that I'm being smothered in fruit yogurt and sucked up inside a whale. Oh, Thankfully, that's not my problem. So far, anyway, we can but hope. Right, let's talk about the luggage. Look, does anyone know why this luggage keeps following me? Ah, that sapient pearwood that luggage is. There's no getting rid of it, it'll follow you everywhere. Sapient pearwood? They once used it to make containers for grave goods. I suppose someone hoped that you really could take it with you. <laughs> the chest is in fact the luggage. The luggage is made of sapient pear wood, and once it attaches itself to somebody, it will follow that person everywhere. Just like a little puppy. It is like a runaway suitcase, albeit one with lots of little pink legs. In this game, the luggage is a convenient storage device. Not to mention a convenient <laughs> homicidal maniac. Should one I said be that earlier. And it really is. As I said, it likes crisps and people. Um, oh, apparently gone out of the conversation. Alright, 
I don't know how many times this is going to cause me to lose. Why is the librarian a monkey? He hit over the head. Well, that's one. Learn, damn you, learn! Did you get the number of that donkey cot? He's not a... one of them, he's an orangutan! But it's the same thing! Did you get the number of that donkey cot? The actual what? orangutan is one of the great apes, an aboreal denizen of the subtropical rainforest. If you ever want to go far in life, you must learn the value of proper nomenclature. Nomenclature? But what's the difference between calling him an orangutan or a monkey? <laughs> Here's your answer. In general terms, the difference is whether you keep your teeth in your head or in your hat. But how did it happen? I mean, should we really let our boreal subtropical fauna be the guardians of a major national library? Oh. Well, he was human once, of course. What? Really? All part of a magical accident. Very tragic, you see, but there it is. Very embarrassing, seeing him scratch himself in the reference section. Doesn't he want to be turned back into a human? Nope. Ha! Says he likes the long arms, the prehensile toes, and the right to scratch himself in the reference section. I say he just likes running round loose, not wearing trousers. I mean, I would. I mean, technically you're wearing robes, you're not wearing trousers anyway, but I get your point. Okay. Right, you are then. I think this is as good a place as any to end for the video. So... Until next time, oh, we get to speak to Windle Poons next time. That will be fun, really, really fun. Until then.